Hi Leo and Leo Rising. Welcome to your Mars Retrograde Special. I'm Helene from Heart House Astrology. So what's happening? Well, Mars is going retrograde on the 9th of September until November 13th. In the sign of Aries, which is your ninth house, the house that rules beliefs, higher education, long distance travel, law, and this house hasn't had a Mars retrograde since 1988. So think back to what may have been happening to you at that time. Because now your beliefs are changing. With Mars slowing down to retrograde, you may be having to see where you your beliefs are are, are changing and not resonating with what you used to believe was true. For some of you, you may feel that um, you're feeling more argumentative about your beliefs. That's quite possible. Um, you know, Mars can bring anger and um, arguments as well and, and violence, but you know, in the ninth house, I think, you know, it could bring that energy of like arguing basically about beliefs. So, but on a higher note, this is really a transformation happening. So you, you may even be like, I can't even talk about this anymore. I can't, you know, <laughs> I can't deal with the argument and they don't believe what I believe, you know. You just have had enough with that. That's that's quite possible. Um, throughout the month, Mars retrograde will square all the Capricorn energy. And that's, we have Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. And those are in your sixth house of daily routines, your day-to-day -day life and um, your day-to-day -day schedule, what you eat, your diet, that type of thing. Um, so you have to be really disciplined uh, during this time. And in fact, I remember having those planets, well, at least Saturn and Jupiter in that house, which could really feel overwhelming that you just have a lot going on. You know, your days are busy. Um, it could bring kind of exhaustion to the day as well. So uh, all of our energy will be a little bit lower at this time. Um, sex drive could be lower as well for some and you know you have to watch out for possible arguments with the co-workers or coming up with resistance in the workforce on that front as well I did pick a gemstone for you now because this is Mars retrograde in the ninth house I feel this is you know, having a, a new faith, having a new trust in uh, life, you know, maybe you're going to go back to school and learn something new. That's quite possible as well with the frustrations at work. You might be like, you know what, I'm going back to school and getting my master's degree so I can, you know, kick it up a notch career wise. You know, that's that's quite possible that you choose to do that as well. Um, but I did pick a gemstone and the gemstone that I picked is called Cavasite and it's blue and it's like this dark funky blue one. I do not have it, uh, but I wanted to show you a picture of it. Okay, this is a funky blue stone and it's to have the courage to speak your, con con you know, speak your truth with conviction and strength and courage. You know, that's all about Leo. You have courage. And, and if you're coming up against people who have these strong beliefs and are trying to, you know, get you to change your beliefs, um, or if your beliefs are having this transformative process, you know, you can, if, if spe working with stones speaks to you, um, you know, that could help you just getting in alignment with your um, speaking your truth. In a, in a way that is courageous with conviction and peaceful. So thank you for watching. If it resonated, please like and subscribe. It means so much. 
I will be doing a live tomorrow with my friend Ellen Shapiro, who is a healer, and I'll be talking more about the Mars retrograde, and we'll be doing some EFT and teaching you some tools and techniques to work with any anger that could come up or frustration during this Mars retrograde cycle. Thanks for watching.